Restart router. In the beginning, it's strongly recommended that you restart your router. Press and hold the power button of the router for about three seconds to shut it down, then unplug the power cable from the outlet. Next, replug the power cable, turn the router on, and when the indicators light up, visit YouTube. Run Network Troubleshooter. Step 1. Press Windows plus I to open settings. Step 2. Select Update and Security, then choose Troubleshoot. Step 3. Click Additional Troubleshooters and pick Network Adapter. Step 4. Hit Run the Troubleshooter, then allow the process to go all the way. Step 5. Assuming that the troubleshooter manages to identify the cause, click Apply This Fix, Clear Cache. Different browsers have different ways to clear the cached data. For ease of convenience, we will talk about Microsoft Edge. Step 1. Launch Edge. Look to your top right and hit the ellipses. Step 2. Click Settings, then pick Privacy, Search, and Services. Step 3. Under Clear Browsing Data, select Choose What to Clear, then select all you need to be cleared, including cached data and files. Step 4. Choose Clear Now, and once all the items have been cleared, determine whether the issue persists. Reset Network. Step 1. Press Windows plus I to open settings. Step 2. Choose Network and Internet, then select Network Reset in Status. Step 3. Hit Reset Now. Wait for the process to complete and see how things turn out. Flush DNS. Step 1. Right-click Start Menu, then pick Command Prompt, Admin, to open Command Prompt with administrative privileges. Step 2. In Command Prompt, Admin, run each of the following commands. Netch Winsock Reset. Netch Int IP Reset. Netch Adva Firewall Reset. Step 3. After you finish, proceed to run these commands in command prompt. ipconfig, flush dens, ipconfig, release, ipconfig, renew. Step 4. Close command prompt. Step 5. Restart your computer. Apply changes to internet protocols. Step 1. Click the Start menu, type Control Panel, and hit Enter. Step 2. Change view by to small icons. Step 3. Select Network and Sharing Center, then choose Change Adapter Setting. Step 4. Right-click your connection type, then pick Properties. Step 5. Choose Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, then select Properties. If you have an IP address you want to use, hit Use the following IP address, then enter the values in the boxes provided. Otherwise, Choose Obtain an IP address automatically, select Obtain DNS Server automatically, and check the checkbox next to Validate upon exit.